Assalamu alaikum. Good evening to all SSP valued members, EC and advisory, and our guest for today. I, Safdar Ali Khan, Secretary of American Society, Kuwait Chapter, welcome you on webinar on working online, how about ergonomics? This is one of the event of WISE Committee. Let us start with the uh, agenda. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, Usually our meeting is start with uh, opening remark, which I did it. And then after our HSE moment will be there. And then there will be a brief activity of uh, chapter. And then there will be a brief activity of wise events. And then it will be introduction to the speaker by head of committee, Dr. Saika Al-Fazam. And uh, then there will be a presentation by the speaker. Based on that presentation, there will be online quiz. After that, we will be doing facilitation uh, of a speaker. And then we will do online certificate distribution to the QS webinar. We will address some question which will be raised by some participants. And after that, vote of thank will be given by uh, uh, Jahida Farooq. So let us start with safety moment. Can you see the screen now? Yes, yes, it's so cool, yeah. Achieving the right seating position not only keeps you comfortable, but it's safer too. So here's a few tips to get you sorted. So Unmute please. Unmute Sardarji. Okay. Thank you, Ramana. 
uh, sometimes uh, a general protocol is there, like uh, we all are on Zoom platform, there is a possibility, there is a connection will drop and you will be log out. So don't get panic, commit ba uh, back again by login. Uh, our president Jai Thakur is there. Uh, no, just uh, he's actually he's busy with uh, not the a training. problem. Not, not a problem. Uh, yes, carry on. Uh, on behalf of uh, President Mr. Uh -huh. Jahid Thakur, who is busy still uh, with uh, his uh, another training 45,000 workshop, the message from uh, him was to welcoming uh, our speaker, Dr. Anwar Ali, for a wonderful presentation on working online. How about ergonomics? which is the need of our, especially when we are, most of them are working from online platform. So, and involving the workstation. So it's very vital for all of us to understand the basic, which is also affecting in long run. So it's a wonderful opportunity that uh, Dr. Anwar Ali with us, and I hope uh, this event will be successful wise event. Now let's move to, this is a recent activity what uh, SSP Kuwait chapter has done. Those who are coming on this platform for the first time, I'm just uh, making you familiar how many activity we are doing and it will be a common interest to all of us. So a spare little time whenever there is opportunity make use of this wonderful event. So these are the briefs of some of the activity we have done in recent past. Webinar on importance of LinkedIn account for HSE professional by speaker, Mr. Abdul Musawir, and where 95 members uh, participated in this and get one benefited by such webinar. Uh, this is process safety uh, technical meet. Uh, every third of a Wednesday, our different forums are there. <coughs> we are meeting together, sharing the knowledge learning so this was some of the event to be sharing for the benefits of our member to enhance awareness and their competency by Mr. Majhar Sheikh and Mr. Salman Panwala on 21st of October where 108 member benefited. This was another webinar on cyber safety and security in connected world by speaker Mr. Sangha Meshwaram Ayer where 68 members benefited on 24th of October. This was another excellent webinar on awareness on breast cancer by Dr. Anwar Al-Nazar, where 62 members benefited by attending on 31st October. And this was the recent webinar on career growth opportunity in HSE profession by our mentor and advisory committee member, Mr. Mohideen K.S. Mohammed K.S. Mohideen, where 109 members attended and got benefited by such awareness. As you are aware, uh, I was mentioning about this, ISO 45001 lead auditor subsidized training program, uh, which has started from 13 and till still ongoing for some adjustment. Um, so three Friday and two Saturday, where 20 members got benefited by attending this. There is another program for second batch is also arranged. Those who want to avail this opportunity, they can be in touch with Mr. Ramana uh, to enroll themselves. And for stay tuned for future, also similar program will be arranged. Now, this was another uh, commemoration of World Diabetes Days, where 55 members attended, and the eminent speaker, Dr. Amir Ahmed and Dr. Muhammad Yusuf Dar were there. So, member definitely got very much benefited on 14th November on Diabetic Day event. This is another event of uh, process safety management, technical meet five, where speaker Muhammad Monis and Anirban Misra has given their presentation and 82 member were benefited by attending 
on 18th of November. This is another webinar on global HSE certification and recertification titled as Your Career, Your Future, where uh, our speaker, Mr. Bala Srikant Adivi, CSP, CF, IOSH, where 124 member benefited and it held on 25th of November. So it was very enlightening for the people who are looking for HSE certification and recertification. As you are aware that uh, American society KC chapter is also having a uh, club of Toastmaster where we believe and promote leadership development. So those who are interested, they can meet our Zoom platform at present by attending on 1st and 3rd of Saturday from 6.30. So this is also a good opportunity. Even if you are not member, you are invited to be as a guest, come and see, understand. It will also help you to grow in your career progression. And now I will invite Ms. Janet Nazare, Deputy Wise Committee for briefing of Wise activity. Ms. Janet Nazare. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Yes, Janet. Uh, am I audible to all? Yes, yes, dear. Yes, dear. Yeah. Good evening, everyone. Myself, Janet Nazre. I am the uh, vice deputy head for ASSP Kuwait chapter. Today's topic on working online. How about ergonomics? Sounds very apt for current pandemic situation as most of us are working online and there is very less physical activity. Thank you, Dr. Sheka, for suggesting this topic. Also, I would like to thank today's speaker, Ms. Alwar Anwar Ali, for taking out her precious time and presenting the session for us. I would like to thank my friend and my fellow colleague, Zahida Farooq, for her usual support. Now, I would like to welcome today's speaker, Dr. Al Anaud Al Atik for her support in volunteering to present the Vice Committee and its activities. As you all might know, that uh, Dr. Al Anaud conducted risk and mental well being during COVID 19 ASSP Vice Technical Session in September 2020, and she has become a member on the same day. That's her commendable dedication towards our society. Dr. Al Anaud is presently working at Chueva Medical Center as Senior Occupational Health Physician. She is MSA Occupational Health and PhD Industrial Medicine and Occupational Health. Thank you all once again for attending the program. Over to Dr. Al Anaud. Dr. Al Anaud, please. Doctor? Yeah, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Eh? Good evening. Good evening. Salam alaikum. Good evening, everybody. Hello. Yes, yes. Go ahead, ma'am. You are okay. very much audible. Okay. Uh, the American Society of Safety Professional, ASSP Kuwait, Chapter Wise Committee formed to help coordinate wise events such as networking, technical talks, and community at the local chapter level. Currently, our WISE team has 25 WISE members and we have four members in the core committee. The core committee meets regularly to share ideas, exchange information and discuss upcoming events. So join hands with the WISE, refer your friends, join our women in the safety excellence WISE member community to connect with the like-minded safety professional and support the inclusion and the advancement of the women within the safety industry. Can we see the other slide? Yeah. The previous white, uh, yeah. The previous wise events at the Glaze 
we have awareness on the breast cancers on the 20, uh, 31 October 2020 by Dr. Anwar Anajjar. Uh, risk and mental well-being during COVID-19 by me on the 24 September 2020. Uh, we have the SSP Kuwait Chapter Wise Committee held on ses a session on the professional development on health safety for women. Panel discussion on women leadership in a professional career. Blood donation campaign 2018 in the Shaiba Medical Center. Women leadership challenge in oil and gas sector. First ed and CBR awareness program. Mini pause, a health concern for women. Technical meet on nutrition for women at every stage. Firefighter awareness program. Meeting with the ASSE USA delegates. Upcoming events. December 2020, there is event. A challenge with an opportunity for women in the healthy and safety. January 2021, women's health sensitive topics discussion. February 2021, skin care routine for women. March 2021, blood donation campaign. May 2021, Women's Day Out. So do not, uh, do not miss out this uh, upcoming WISE event. Uh, once again, I would like to welcome our speaker, Ms. Anwar Ali, for today's program. I would like to thank WISE Committee Head Dr. Sheikha al fajjam for her leadership and her extraordinary commitment in arranging WISE Committee and its activities. Over to Dr. Sheikha for speaker introduction. Thank you, everybody. Hello, good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, yes, good, good evening. evening. Okay. I would like first to thank you all for your um, for attending our uh, event. I would like to introduce the speaker, Ms. Anwar Ali. She has a bachelor degree in environmental science. Um, but because she's passionate about occupational health, uh, she studied a master degree in occupational environmental health. She's also a member uh, in a committee where she's doing a project now in collaboration with Public Health and CAFAS about the COVID-19 in Kuwait. So I will, I will leave the floor for uh, Ms. Anwar to, um, to present her presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Yes, madam. Good evening. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me share my uh, my slide first. Thank you, Dr. Sheikh, and everyone for the great introduction. This is Anwar Ali. And today I'll be talking to you about working online and how about ergonomics. You know, with the current situation of COVID-19 pandemic, there is a huge shift in the work system globally. Uh, there is an increased number of workers who are working remotely from home. However, unfortunately, not all workers are um, supported for setting up a proper workstation that ensure a safe work environment and protecting their physical and psychological health and well-being. So in today's presentation, hopefully, inshallah, I'll be guiding you on how to set your workstation at home with the consideration of ergonomics. 
So the objective of my presentation is to raise awareness about the range of ergonomic risk to health workers and to highlight the importance of preventing and controlling such risk and to, and to provide a practical guidance. First, for those who are not aware of ergonomics, ergonomics, according to the International Ergonomics Association Executive Council, it is a scientific discipline concerned with the understanding of interaction among humans and other elements of the system. For example, we have the workstation and environment, the tools and equipment that the worker used to perform specific tasks, uh, and the profession that applies theory, principle, data, and method to design in order to optimize human well-being and overall system performance. So the aim of ergonomics in general is to increase productivity, maximize efficiency, reduce discomfort and injuries, and limit fatigue. Uh, there are definitely different types of ergonomics hazards, such as the repetitive motions, awkward or static postures. We have the workstation design, which is considered, considered as an ergonomic hazard. We have the improper lifting and reaching, and we have the poor visual condition. In today's presentation, I'll be covering some of those ergonomic uh, hazards that you may face uh, during working at home. Um, so what, it, what are the consequences of bad ergonomics? It can majority lead to musculoskeletal disorder, accident, headache, dissatisfaction and stress, and may lead to increased sickness absence. So let me start with good working boss, uh, position. Um, it is highly important and helpful to understand the concept of a neutral uh, body position, which is comfortably working where your joints are neutrally aligned in a way that would reduce the stress on your joints and muscle and skeletal and reduce the risk of uh, ergonomics. There are different types of good working postures that I'll be illustrating now. There are four main ones. We have the upright setting, as we can see from the first picture, in which your neck, torso are approximately vertical and in line. The thighs are upper, uh, approximately horizontal and the lower legs are vertical. Uh, the standing position in which your head, neck, torso, thighs, and legs are approximately in line and vertical with, uh, with the feet slightly apart. The, uh, the worker can rest by uh, elevating on one foot at each time. The third type of good working uh, posture is the decline setting. As we can see from, uh, from the illustrative picture that the thighs are inclined with the buttocks higher than the knee. Uh, in which the angle between the thighs and the torso is greater than 90 degree uh, and the torso is still uh, vertical and slightly reclined and the legs, le uh, the legs remain vertical as well. The last uh, uh, good working posture, we have the reclined setting in which your neck, torso uh, are straight and reclined between 105 to 100 degree from the thighs and you keep your legs vertically straight. So what are the consequences of uh, bad postures? In general, you irritate or strain the, bo uh, the bone, tendon, and muscle uh, connections. For example, sorry. Yeah. Uh, muscle can stretch or comp uh, compress, causing them to be inefficient and resulting in possible fatigue or overextraction. It can pull stretch tendons, blood vessels, and nerve over ligaments or bone where they can become pinched and restricted. Thirdly, it can, uh, for the tendons and their sheaths can rub on the bone ligaments, which can lead to irritation and fraying. This can lead to swelling with confined areas such as the carpal tunnel, which restrict nerves and blood vessels. Finally, we have the tangle and numbness, which is a common uh, issue when working, uh, on especially uh, office work of the fingers and hand, which result from the inflammation of tendon sheath. So how can we avoid the awkward uh, working postures? By properly setting your workstation. So I'll be going through each workstation component and how you can um, set them ergonomically in a, in a good way. Let me start with the desk. So ergonomic, when, when we talk about the desk, we're looking for a, a, a place uh, 
that can allow to put uh, to place the monitor directly in front of you at least 20 inches away from you and it should be able to accommodate variety of working postures uh, make sure that you avoid storing uh, items underneath your desk so that you leave a room for your uh, feet and your legs to move freely. For the adjustments, use corner desk rather than straight desk, which may provide additional uh, space and depth to, accom to accommodate larger monitors or other multiple items. Um, Imagine your desk divide, being divided into three uh, zones. We have the primary zone, which is close to you, where you keep those items that you repetitively use and reach, such as the keyboard, phone, and mouse. And the secondary whole, uh, zone, which for the items that you occasionally use, and we have the tertiary work zone, for, for example, for the monitors, which you rarely touch. Yeah. Now for the chairs, we, um, we're looking to increase adjustability to ensure a better fit for the user. Uh, and we want to provide adequate support to a variety of setting posture, not only one single posture. And we want to support the back, legs, buttocks, and arms as well. So there is already ergonomic chairs, but if you don't have one, make sure that the chair, uh, that, you, that you have your backrest co uh, confirm the natural curve of your spine. Make sure, uh, remember that the spine isn't as straight as you imagine. There is a natural curve that you should, uh, you should keep in mind and, and uh, maintain. Uh, the other point is, is to, the seat should be comfortable and allow your feet to rest flat on the floor. If you're short, like my case, or the disc is too high for you, make sure you have foot rest so that you put your feet flat on the foot rest and keep your legs vertical. For the arm set, if provided, should be soft and allow your shoulders to relax and your elbows to stay close to your body. As we can see from the picture, uh, this is the, the uh, optimum one that we want to do, relaxed, not too high and not too wide. We'll put pressure on your shoulder and that, uh, that's something that we want to avoid. Uh, finally, make sure that the chair have five leg space with casters that allow your easy, easy movement along the floor. So how can you adjust your chair? First, adjust the high. Uh, stand in front of the chair, make sure that the top of the chair reaches your kneecap. Secondly, adjust the lamp, uh, the backrest in, in or uh, either in, uh, pull it up or pull it down to make sure that you're supporting your lumbar. If you cannot, you cannot achieve it or the chair allow, wouldn't allow you to do so, you either put like pillow or a uh, towel, rolled up towel, so that you make sure your spine is, is comfortable. The third uh, point is the depth of the seat. Make sure that between the edge of the seat and the back of your knee, there is a distance of five centimeter or a size of fist, so that you don't put pressure on your knee and the blood vessels over there. Uh, finally, when we talk about the armrest, make sure it's hung loosely on the armrest and you keep the elbow in line with the shoulder at 90 degree, uh, as I said before, the neutral uh, position or posture. Now, we have the keyboard. We want to reduce the exposure to awkward postures, repetitions, and contact stress. When contract stress, we mean there's two types. There's internal stress in which the blood vessels and, uh, and tendon are bent to the bone and causing stress, or you performing the stress yourself by, uh, by pushing against the, one of the um, work, uh, workstation components, such as the keyboard or the edge of the desk. So we want to avoid that. Uh, the keyboard should be placed directly in front of you and should be relaxed and your elbow close to your body. As we said before, relax and close, not too wide and not too high. And your wrist should be straight and in line with your firm arms. For the adjustment, for the height, height it's recommended range between minus 45 degree to 20 degree as we can see from the picture the distance not too close or not too far. And uh, as I said, adjust your chair 
either lower or rise so that you achieve a straight neutral uh, rest posture. And for those left-handed, make sure you buy your own uh, alternative left-hand keyboards. You, do, you, you don't want to twist your, your spine or, or you move in awkward postures in order to uh, type. Now, um, talking about the mouse, which is there is different sizes, shapes, and configurations. Um, the most important thing is that you keep your wrist straight, your farm and arms, your fingers, and your wrist is all in a straight line. And if you want to move the mouse, move it from your elbow rather than moving your wrist. So make sure you move from the elbow, not the wrist. Now, talking about the monitor, which is a large part of the uh, uh, workstation component, we want to reduce exposure to forceful exertions, awkward postures, and overhead glare. And we want to prevent possible health effects such as the excessive fatigue, eye strain, neck and back pain. There are two main factors, the distance and the angle of the monitor. For the distance, um, which is the, the space between yourself and the monitor, it should be around 20 to 40 inches uh, far. It depends on your age, your, your, um, your resolution of your monitor, and how good you can see. Uh, just to check if the, if the monitor is too close or it's in the right position, straight up your arm and should be you shouldn't touch your the screen. If you're touching the screen, you you will perform to uh, you will lead to eye strain, and that should be avoided. For the angle, it should be between fifteen to twenty degree below your eye level. You want to avoid bending your head backward in order to see the screen uh, the screen because it will perform stress on your neck, and you will fatigue it after a while. Okay, most of uh, workstation uh, depend on either typing or other type of uh, like telephone calls and stuff. So if you're one of those who use telephone uh, a lot and regularly, use a speaker phone or headset for a long conversation and keep it close to avoid the repeated reaching, as I said, in the primary work zone. And keep the telephone cord out of the working area so it does not create tripping hazard and lead to has uh, accident, which is one of the ergonomic hazards. Um, there is also the document holder, which is considered an accessory, especially for those who type a lot, for access, uh, uh, type a lot like secretary or so on. So documents should be at the same height at the and distance at the monitor, and the lighting on the document should not cause a glare on the monitor. So to wrap up all what I've said in one slide, just be comfortable. Top of the monitor or just below your eye level, head and neck balanced and in line with the torso, shoulder should be relaxed, elbow close to your body and supported by the armrest, uh, the lower back is supported, wrist and hand are in line with the forearm arms, you have adequate room for the keyboard and mouse, and you keep your feet flat on the floor. Since we're working from home, make sure that you have your own ro room away from children and other family members just to have privacy and reduce the stress on the worker. Also make sure you have the room uh, with the fresh air and good lightning. Uh, lightning is one of the hazard uh, of ergonomics. I'll be talking about uh, in the upcoming slides, but, be but before I do that, let me test your attention and understanding. So let's have some exercise. <clears throat> so I'll be asking questions, please, if you have, if you know the answer or you think you know the answer, that's fine. There's all, there's no wrong answers. Please raise your hand or share the answer with me. Uh, oh. So which of the following is the correct position? Uh, do you think all of them are correct? All of them are, are wrong or there is mix between right or wrong? Anyone? Yeah, they are getting, they are uh, typing the answers in chat box. Oh. If anyone want to speak? Oh, okay. Oh, all wrong. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Um, 
most people thought of B because it's the standing uh, posture that I, uh, the first one that I explained, but not necessarily, they're all correct. If we pay attention, the torso and the neck are vertical, which is the first main point. We have the legs and the uh, hip is still vertical. And then we have the rest and hands are in a straight line. So the, all of those postures are correct. And, and you have to, to change between one posture to other uh, do, uh, throughout your working hours rather than sitting on one posture. Sitting on one posture for all the working hours is considered still a hazard. So all of them are correct. Next. Okay. Can you spot the mistake? Can one, anyone unmute their mic and share with me the answer? Can you see the mistake in the picture in, in uh, regard to ergonomics? Neck bend, yes. Keyboard, yes. True. Yeah, chair. Okay. This picture is disaster. Let me start with the phone. He's bending his head. So he's performing pressure on the shoulder and neck. Uh, his, he have his leg crossed, which he's probably blocking the blood vessels. He have the keyboard low, lower than his armrests. He have his monitor too close from him. Definitely not, not the size of, not at the uh, distance of an arm. So he stores, he's storing stuff underneath his disc. So the whole picture is a disaster for a genomic. Let's move to the next picture. Yeah, this one. Oops, sorry. Sheikha, the arm, the armrest, as as the name suggests, armrest. You don't necessarily need it if it's not positioned in the right way. You can, you can, you cannot. Yeah, you can. Don't use it. That's fine, but. As long as you keep your arm in the neutral position and the elbow and the armrest are straight in the 90 degree. The, the error on this picture is that he had the whole arm straightened. It's not neutrally uh, aligned or relaxed. So again, pressure and stress. Yes, and he will also, the contact stress that I already explained in the rest. Yes, exactly, your answers are perfect. How about that one? Yes, close monitor, close keyboard, low keyboard. He's he he he's bending his uh, wrist and hands as the praying posture. Um, he's too close to the keyboard. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. What about that one? True, Mohammed, hand, hand posture is not good. She's bending forward, yes, definitely. Exactly. She's not supporting her back. Yes. Yeah. So she's not supporting her back. Uh, she have the she have the uh, uh, the disc higher than her arm, so she's uh, lifting up her arms, and uh, she, she she doesn't seem comfortable as I'm asking you to be. So move to the next picture. That's the final one. Yep. 
yes, <laughs> disaster, yes. Uh, she's close from the monitor. Leg posture, she have her leg crossed, yes. And again, her arm is not in the neutral position. True. Well done. Good job. Okay. Now, moving to the last part of uh, setting your workstation, which is, sorry, yeah, which is lighting. Um, the sign of poor lighting, you can notice that you have poor lighting by, uh, by having eye strain, blurred vision, eye irritation, sometimes accidents may happen, uh, the MSD, the, mu the muscle skeletal dis disorders, you may, you may sometimes ha uh, face some headache, difficulty seeing, dry burning eyes, all of those sometimes happen to us and we ignore it and we didn't notice that it happens because of poor lightening. So how can we over, uh, overcome this problem? Uh, by uh, fixing, depending on the cause. So if you want to correct the glare resulted from direct source, use blinds or drop dropped on window to help reduce the glare. Position the workstation so that the window and the fluorescent line are parallel to the work line of the site. Um, as we can see from the picture in here. Can you see my pointer? Yeah. Uh, use the glare filters that attach directly to the surface of the monitor to reduce the glare. Uh, use barriers or light diffusers or fixtures. What if we have the glare from reflected light? In this case, paint the walls with a medium colored non-reflective paint. At the same time, set your computer monitor for the dark characters on a light background. They are less affected by the reflection and then the light character on the dark background uh, will perform better. To correct the contrasts, increase the contrast between the object and the background, use uh, pens rather than pencils and white papers rather than gray, adjust your photocopier exposure, the VDT brightness and the contrast control. Finally, decrease the reflected glare, use matte finish uh, on surface and move any shiny object away from your site. So to wrap up, how can we protect ourselves from ergonomic hazards? It's not only by setting your workstation properly. Setting the workstation properly will, will do half of the job. So you have to follow the good practice of ergonomics. As I mentioned earlier, keep changing the postures of your sitting. Don't sit in one posture for long. The second thing, try to perform stretches and exercise and most importantly, to take rest breaks. Here come the, the fun part of my presentation, which is performing stretches and exercise. So we've been talking for a pro around, let's say 45 minutes. So we deserve some stretches and exercise. So as I am explaining, please you behind the screens uh, perform the, those stretches. It won't take time, to, it's roughly around five minutes. So for the neck, side stretches, hold for five to 10 minutes each side and repeat for a few times. Forward, oh, sorry, backward and forward, five to 10 seconds each repeat few times and then turn your head to each shoulder and hold it for five seconds each and repeat it for a few times. So bend, front, back, and then two shoulders. You better perform it. <laughs> okay, so for the shoulders, stretch, uh, straighten up your arm and hold it for a few seconds. And then you hold that way for a few, few seconds as well. And then backward for five seconds and repeat them. For hands and wrists, open and close. Shake your hands for 10 seconds and hold your hands for 10 seconds as well. This will stretch and, and relieve your muscles. For your upper and lower back, hold your hands straight up and hold it for 10 seconds. Uh, uh, stand up and lower back, place hands on the back of your hip and lean back slightly 
Hold for two seconds and repeat four or five times. That will release the pressure on your back. For the legs and ankle joints, straight up your, your leg and hold it up and down for a few seconds. Bend your knee, hold it up for a few seconds as well and move your feet up and down for a few seconds, five to 10 seconds and repeat it once or twice. Um, the eye exercise, most, most of you sometimes because of getting really busy, they forget to even blink, so please blink. Uh, give your eyes break every 20 minutes and uh, focus on object that is close to you and object that's far from you. This will help relax in your eyes. Um, the other exercise is by looking left and right, up and down. So perform those stretches during your rest breaks. The last important uh, point of, uh, of how to avoid uh, ergonomic is by taking rest breaks. Vary your work. Do not keep doing the same thing over and over. Make sure that you're changing the nature of the work so that you avoid repetition. Take structured breaks such as lunch break, prayer breaks, coffee breaks, or even stretches breaks. Take a breaks, uh, uh, take a breaks more frequently. For example, take breaks uh, every uh, 50 to 60 minutes for five and 10 minutes rather than taking longer breaks uh, every three or four hours. Uh, and don't forget to drink water constantly throughout the day. Um, and when you perform the rest breaks, stretches, and the a good posture of ergonomics, hopefully you will uh, avoid the hazard of or the harm of ergonomics. Uh, I hope that I covered everything and I helped you to understand the concept of ergonomics and how you set your workstation. There is a checklist uh, in OSHA uh, that help you to, uh, to see if, that, if, you, if you set your workstation correctly or not. Uh, probably they can share it with you. I already sent the link to them. Yeah, I already so, shared it. Uh, yeah. I will share it in the chat. Thanks. Yeah. If you have any other question or inquiry, please contact me my details and I open the floor for questions. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions? Yeah. Uh... If any questions are there, we'll ask them to put in the chat box. Yeah. I'm in the meantime, that. yeah. In the meantime, I'm going to ask online quiz. I'm going to post a link so that everyone can uh, answer. And after answering, they will get automatic uh, no certificate, online certificate. So let them do that one in the meantime. And yeah, whoever yeah. have any doubt, just you can uh, open your mic and uh, type also or. Uh, you can raise your hand and ask ask the questions if you have. I'll Anyone stop, wants to be, Yes. I'll stop sharing the screen now so that you have control. Thank you. The link is already posted. Okay, the five, first five answers will be taken uh, into consideration to recognize. Okay, whoever answers the first. Three questions are there in the uh, form. Those who an answers first, they will be recognized. Okay, thank you, Ma. I got the answers. So many, so many people answered. Uh, Miss Janet, 
could you please take hold uh, any question and answers there please type in chat box or you can open your mic and talk if you have any trouble just raise your hand so that i'll i'll unmute you and open your i'll give you access Hello. Yes. Yeah. Can go ahead. Yeah. If you, if you have got enough of answers, then we can just move ahead now, Ramana. Okay. Mr. Ram Kumar wants to ask a question. Thank you. Thank you for this wonderful presentation. Very relevant on part of uh, ergonomics and uh, health benefits. My question to is. Uh, how important is it to follow the rule 20 20 20 madam anwar ali yes hi thank you for your question it's very important especially we're working for home and we're since we're working for home we tend to work longer than we do at the work office because we feel home you know so it is very important to have the the eye breaks every 20 minutes uh, where you rest your eyes for 20 seconds and focus on objects that are 20 minute, uh, 20 uh, feet far from you so it's really important and unlike the other type of uh, stretches the eye has to be yeah the eye stretches has to be uh, done every 20 minutes the other type of stretches you can perform them during your breaks but the eye, you have to do them every 20 minutes. And don't forget to blink and drink water. Hopefully there that's a, Yeah, there is, a, the, there is a... Sorry, can I... This is Dr. Sheikh. I would like to add uh, more thing. That uh, uh, our eye, like any other, any other part of our body, it has muscles. And if you keep looking into the screen for a long time, the muscles of your eye will get fatigued. So that's why it's uh, it's a good practice that every 20 minutes you you uh, you do these exercises for the it's, it's for the to relieve the fatigue of your muscle of the of the eye. Yes, uh, I would like to add some more on it. According to American ophthalmology study, the research says every minute, 15 times, we blink like this. It uh, rejuvenates, it refreshes your eyes, but. Yeah. If you are exposed to screen virtually for a longer period, somehow it is sad that it, the number is decreasing gradually, rapidly. This is a concern raised by uh, research researchers, the study which has been done on ergonomics. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, uh, doctor for such a wonderful explanation for ergonomics. There is another question. Am I audible? Yes, sir, Darji, you are audible. Uh, there is another question by uh, Mr. Asok Garlapati, sir. What are mobile ergonomics? Uh, any uh, in, enlightenment on that? Especially we are using mobiles for attending some webinar. You mean, how can we avoid the ergonomics related to mobile? Yes. Sometimes we are forced to use because sometimes we are really on the uh, traveling or we will be sitting in a car and we may not be able to access to our laptop. 
Yeah, it's the same thing applies. If you, if you, if you like, for example, put your phone on speaker rather than just uh, put a handset which affects your ears. Uh, if you're using it for a short of time, it won't be a problem. Uh, probably Dr. Sheikha can add more to that. Sheikha? Yes, Anwar, it's, yeah. Uh, it is, it's, it's the same uh, concept of ergonomic that you, you try to keep the, uh, your joints and your muscles relaxed. So if you are using uh, uh, mobile, if, if you have to use it for a long time, for example, there are accessories where you can use to keep the uh, tool like a holder to make the mobile uh, on that holder at the level of your eye, for example. Uh, as she said, you can use the speaker or headset instead of using it and bending your, your, your neck. So uh, if you have to use the mobile for a long time, then you have to use the accessories to, uh, that help you to keep your muscles, your, your joint in a neutral position. You don't put any stress in, your, um, in the muscles. As I said, in any, in any uh, situation, make sure you maintain the neutral position of your body. Keep everything aligned and, you, and neutrally, uh, neutrally aligned. Don't put stress. So, Thank as you, Dr. Ali, for such a wonderful explanation. I think, Ramana, we are ready with the uh, results now. So, yes, yes. So, Madam Nazare, Janet. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. So, we have yeah, to uh, yeah. announce yeah. the Julia. confidence. No? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, felicitation. Felicitation. Oh, yeah. yeah, just a minute. I'll start the screen. Okay. We would like to present Ms. Anwar Ali with a virtual appreciation certificate. Thank you. Oh. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. An Anwar Ali. Oh, sorry. These are, the, these are the quiz winners. Actually, I skipped one slide. Okay, I'm going to announce the quiz winners, those who have answered in quick time. There are a couple of members who have attended from our core committee. So I'm putting them at the last, okay? But the members, I'm taking them as uh, first. So Mr. Saravana Kumar Natarajan, who has answered in quick time. Congratulations. Congratulations, Mr. Sunil Kumar. You are participating in all the events and uh, this is your next event which you have answered in quick time. Congratulations, Mr. Sheikh Magbul Basha. I hope this is your second uh, appreciation. Hope you will continue for the future programs. Mr. Murganandam Bhusapati, he is our, uh, no, our senior engineer and uh, he is participating in all the events and he is also answering, answering quick time. <laughs> Mr. Rakesh, congratulations. Of course, congratulations for our secretary who has also participated and uh, answered in quick time. He has, actually his name has to be in first place because of his uh, no, activity, he's a secretary. So I should not supposed to take our people as first. So that's why I'm taking them as last and uh, congratulations to him and uh, <laughs> Congratulations to Madam Jahida Farooq. She also answered in quick time. Thank you very much. That's it.
and uh, uh, what about yes. the uh, group picture yeah. we'll take a group yeah, picture yeah we'll now take we'll now. take yeah we'll take already we had taken few but uh, i didn't um, ask for the um, before going to uh, Uh, closing ceremony and group picture. Uh, if uh, Asok sir or uh, Mr. Majharudin Sekh is there, we yeah. can uh, take a few minutes from them for one two minutes. Uh, how they find it this uh, session? Majharudin yeah. Sekh. Everyone, high- yeah. I request everyone to open your cameras. Whoever is having, so that we'll take some snapshots. And the meantime, or. Uh, The seniors and advisory committee members and core committee people are there. They will talk to. They will address our attendees. Please open your cameras. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, Mr. Sabdar. Uh, this is Ashok Garlapati. I think Sheikh wants to speak. Uh, go ahead, Sheikh. Thank you so much, sir. and uh, this was a wonderful thing and ergonomics is a very important part of our day to day life and job which we are not giving much concentration on so i would like to thank dr shekha and his team janet and all for arranging such a wonderful program and thanks uh, ms sali for this wonderful session it was very enlightening and also we will try to implement all the stuff we have to we learn in our day to day job inshallah thank you so much everyone for participating in this program thank you uh, ashok sir all to you thank you mr sheik and uh, i would like to thank uh, the chapter for bringing up this is important uh, webinar of the uh, I mean the time and season now everybody is attending so many webinars uh, uh, from the office work as well as the chapter uh, business you know so i would like to thank uh, ms rali uh, madam ali as well as uh, wise committee for organizing this uh, particular webinar uh, i am seeing that about 61 people are presenting in this uh, participating in this uh, webinar and uh, ramana has given a five fastest fingers uh, the certificates but if you see the certificate that is not mentioned ramana in the future please mention in the bracket uh, fastest finger of participants or winners or something like that so it's only the participation certificate you are giving but you should re- truly recognize the their uh, uh, fastness you know so please mention in the certificates so that that is very important for them to understand you know so i would like to thank everybody and have a nice time i asked the question you, because i am attending from the car today so thank you sir we have noted that my... you are inside a car <laughs> yeah <laughs> my wife my wife went for a shopping but i am i am shopping the knowledge here <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you Yes, Abdalji. Okay. Uh, now, uh, anybody uh, I joined lately, uh, then we can hand over to Madam Jaida. Need to check. Anyway, it was a very wonderful session, and uh, Doctor Anwar Ali has really enlightened us uh, with uh, her. expertise and participate participating on such event and giving comments and uh, uh, giving your feedbacks uh, really gets us going now with this uh, if uh, others uh, advisory committee members are not there that's fine i will leave the floor to madam jahida farooq for a vote of thank yes hello uh, can hear yeah. yes yes, yes. Uh, can you put the presentation screen please sure hello assalam alaikum our honorable president of ssp quiet chapter our today speaker ms anwar ali and our esteemed guest a warm evening to all of you from zahida farooq vice committee member on behalf of vice committee i would like to convey my thanks to ms anwar for the beneficial presentation about agronomics 
I wish you all the best for your career ahead. A special thanks to Dr. Anud for being the vice committee member, which made our vice committee more proud. Thank you, ma'am. I also extend my sincere thanks to our captain of the ship. Yes, she is Dr. Sheka, our head of vice committee, and our committee members, Ms. Janet and Ahlam, and the whole team who worked behind to make this event successful. Once again, thank you, every one of you. Stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you very much. Thank you, Madam Jahida. Now it's time for networking. Now we have, if you have any questions, you can ask, you can put in the chat box, or if you can raise your hand, I'll unmute you so that you can talk together. We can talk together. Yeah, we will take more with uh, Dr. Anwar Ali, and we will leave the floor for networking. Um, maybe Dr. Anwar Ali will be busy, or Dr. Sikha Madam will be also busy. So just take only two, three minutes with them, and then we'll leave the floor for networking. Over to you, Ramana. Okay. Thank you, Sardarji. Yeah. Mr. Ramji, would you like to talk something? Yes, Ramana, come back. Now, would you like to talk something? Yes, uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. That was a great and great presentation. I appreciate uh, the doctor and uh, Madam Ali for that insightful presentation which you have delivered. We're honored. It was really need of the hour as we are running with the virtual sessions. You talk about any age group. Everybody is exposed to the modern gadget and technology which we are using today. So if I have to say some information, I've been talking and giving orientation on the, uh, perhaps this is my experience, based on the research. I've been giving orientation on the screen time. If you know, if you can talk something about the screen time, if you, if you give us some information on the screen time or screen strong, how effectively we can use the screen strong, minimizing the usage of our screens, having the gadgets involving with the technical, technological world advancements. Because you rightly said, eyes are very precious. And which eye, see, which eye is more precious to you? Both eyes are precious. We cannot close one eye and see. Of course, it is if it is. But otherwise, we cannot work effectively. We cannot look what we have, looking at the content or looking at the content features in detail. So the study says in the screen, what is screen timing? Screen timing in modern apps, we have settings in which how much time you are using, making use of screen, like surfing, browsing, entertaining, the study has explained it. the research, researchers say around four to five hours at an average, people are engaged with entertainment. Perhaps they're using video games, chatting, blogging, or social networking, or watching videos or movies. Four to five hours at an average in a day. And how much time they are actually spending on gaining the knowledge or insights. It is sad to note that less than 45 minutes in a day. And research also studied, and it explains that a child uses every day playing with a gadget, perhaps on the name of virtual sessions, playing video games, if you take five hours a day, Maybe limited to video games, but also exposed to the virtual screens, square screens, TVs, LCDs, LEDs, whatever it is. So research is at an average, he's spending 30, that means 150 hours. So most likely the child is abusing 
himself addicted to the gadget virtually, exposing to the screen. So this is all studies been done, giving the clear statistics on the screen time. So what we can do, they say, make yourself engaged. Don't let your children engaged with the gadgets. Supervise your children, get engaged with the children, involved with the fun activity, do some gardening work, spend some quality time. And the most important thing is American ophthalmology study, it shows adopt 20, 20, 20 rule, at least start in this year, 2020, because we are in COVID. COVID has brought off very lessons. We are learning through the COVID. However, this 20, 20, 20 rule is very simple. Every 20 minutes, take a break. Look at the object far away, the green, clean, or a nice green environment, or a tree away for 20 feet from your destination. And take a break for at least 20 seconds. What does it mean? You are not vulnerable to your health, having exposed continuously to the screen. Yes, there are other ways of limiting the screen. You can switch off. Like, for example, one of the realistic case study they have given, while we are interested to download apps, what we do usually, we tend to stare. Apps take one minute, two minutes, or three minutes, sometimes five minutes, because of technical issues. So the researcher says, when you're downloading the app, just keep it aside, at least one foot away your mobile while you're sleeping, or close your eyes and let the app download. Just 20 seconds, close your eyes. Nothing can harm you, but you are healthy. You can refresh your eyes, your memories, and keeping your eyes back to normal, going into the app and working. It is downloaded already. You need not stare. So this is one of the advice. Further, stay safe, stay blessed as usual. Ramana, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity for sharing the insights. I enjoy talking to one and all, and I look forward for this insightful, interviewing, and very educational session. Thanks to everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Ramji. OK. Anyone would like to talk? It's too late, I think. 8 o'clock, we should close the meeting. If anyone would like to talk, it's not, not an issue. It's networking time. We can go ahead. Anyone is there? Who is interested to talk? If no one is there, we'll wind up and uh, we'll meet in the next session. Thank you very much for participating. Good night, Good night and thank you. Good night. Good thank night. You. See you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.